So, you want proof that the Earth is flat? Okay, I'll give you some. These guys have already done all the work for us, just everybody seems to be ignoring their experiments. FE core measurement. Disprove the WGS84 model by proving flat lake surface. Okay, just reading over this, we, these guys have no idea what shape their ball is. Um, so we use the WGS84 version, um, for earthquakes and shit like that. And then down here, I get really confused. Um, perfect sphere. If the earth were a perfect sphere, calculations of depth and distance would be easy, blah, 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 bunch of bullshit. However, the earth more closely approximates an ellipsoid. Wait, 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 if an ellipsoid looks like this... Why is Neil deGrasse Tyson saying that the Earth looks like a pear? Obviously, that dude doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. These guys did some solid experiments. They really were trying to find the curvature of the Earth. What do you think they found? <laughs> Through all of their testing, they found that there's absolutely no rotundity to the lake. And of that matter, any lakes. No lakes are curving. No lakes are convex, people. Absolutely not. Here's a couple of their measurements right here. Um, and then if you read it at the bottom, the purpose of the TLT experiments is to determine if the surface of large bodies of water is flat or convex due to the curvature of the Earth, while all bodies of water are presumed to be convex because of the shape of the Earth and the geopotential surface. This assumption goes against our series of measurements and observations. <laughs> That's right. Assuming that the Earth has curvature goes against directly against what we could observe with our eyes. Okay, let's really get into it though. Here's their position where they're shooting the laser. They had four different targets. Keep following me, Globers. So they put this thing 9.35 feet above the lake's surface, and it was seen 13.21 miles away, 3.94 feet above the lake's surface. <laughs> That's just one. Just to give you an idea here, it should have been 59.6 feet of curvature in between those two points. <laughs> Maybe on target two, they found some curvature. <laughs> Let's see what they found here. The laser pointer again, 9.35 feet above the lake's surface. It was seen on the opposite shore, 17.82 miles away, 2.79 feet above the lake's surface. <laughs> I wonder how much curvature should have been between those two points. 17.82 miles distance calculations based on a spherical model results in a target hidden height of the measurement for target 2 position of 40.21 meters, 131.9 feet. <laughs> the next time that somebody tries to tell you that there's curvature to lakes, go ahead and pull this video up and show them it. Or go to fecore.org. <laughs> Have a good day.